Hello people, um, I wasn't recording any of the diagnosing because it was just kind of boring and there's a lot of guys on YouTube, people are better at explaining how to fix your stuff, I'm not that good, I can't, I, I'm, maybe eventually I'll get better at it, but anyways, so we were thinking the compression, is losing compression out of the mess up spark plug threads, so we re- we tapped out the old thing and then put an insert in there so and now it's in there better and it didn't start and then I just I started looking at YouTube videos and like uh, guides and one of them I was looking through the guide and I was following along through it and then it told me to um, to just spray a little starting fluid in there just like a little quick spray and kick it over to see if it'll you know fire up and that worked so I'm thinking that the two-stroke oil mix we had the two the gas mix we had had like it either went bad or um, too much I don't know something something went wrong with it where it wouldn't cause the bike to start anymore I'm thinking it was compression and that that stopped it so yeah but when we get a good gas mixture I'll show firing it up So the bike's running, and um, when I cleaned it out, there were particles or impurities in the needle valve. So I put fuel filter on, and this is just a temporary gas tank, obviously. The other one has leaks in it, but it's right here, right in our pile of stuff. You can see a little bit of the original... Kawasaki thing. They just painted over everything. I'm not sure why. They didn't do a good paint job either. There's drips everywhere. And that's where the gas is leaking out of. It's taken off the spray paint they did. I'm going to see if it'll start and not flood. Um, I did this the other day. And it was it stopped overflowing out of the bottom here like it was, but it was still getting too much gas. So I'm thinking that it'll randomly mess up and let some gas through with and I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna ch check out the, the float to see if there's holes in it or anything. See all that gas in there? Um, it'll like, I think it'll slowly like build up, like get past the needle valve or something that's not functioning, and somehow get in there when it's not supposed to, and slowly build up. Some of it leaked out when I was taking it off too, so it's like it's, we have it adjusted really low, so it should be lower than this, and it should, and it's like flooding, <laughs> and um, I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to see if there's any holes in the float. Okay, so I just took this off and shook it around next to my ear. Didn't hear any water splashing around.
So we're gonna have to figure out what is um, causing the flooding issue if that needle valve isn't messed up. I'll do some research. All right, so we got the carb on there. We had to do some modifying, but that's on there. Really sturdy. This idle thing almost touches this. The carburetor cover plate will not fit on there anymore. Um, this top piece right here was on the original carb, but it fits. So we just kept it on there so we wouldn't have to mess with all this stuff. This enricher thing, we're going to see if we can hook it up to this one in here. Um, we just had it running. My microphone was dead when I when it was running, so I didn't think it would be that cool to record it. So, in this video, don't worry, it'll be started. We got to do some more adjusting to the everything to to make it idle better. But yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, this top one, this top piece, there's a metal little tab, like a key thing. We got to take that off so it'll fit on there correctly, but. It seems to work just fine, and so it's hooked up to the throttle now, so that's cool. Everything seems to be working. It's just too big, and it didn't fit on there before, but now that's like, makes the whole bike move. Yeah, so, awesome. All right, so let yesterday when I got it started, I didn't have my microphone turned on, so I'm gonna get it started again so you guys can hear it this time. I also managed to kick the Kickstarter off yesterday. I found out there's like a broken spot on there. I'm gonna actually, I think there might be a spare kicker in there if I need do need to replace it. I tightened it and it stayed on. I could weld it back together too. It's just like a little broken piece. I know welding stuff back together isn't always the best idea. Oh. So yeah, here's a here's another one. It's dark in here. Sorry, the lighting's bad. 
One of the lights doesn't work. There's only two lights in here. But you have this extra one right here. Um, if I do need to put a new one on. Alright, here we go. Turn the key on. Yeah, I don't really have a good spot for it. Okay, I got, I used some, uh, some MIG wire to just kind of hold that little gas can on there. I think it really wants to start, obviously, because I didn't, it, it kicked on after, it started up after I kicked it. So maybe there's still some kind of electrical thing going on. And then it just died. It was running really nice. And then it died. Break off again. So, this thing's broken right here and right here. It's broken off completely. It's starting to crack down to there. So this thing's a little, this thing's damaged. So I'm gonna put that other one on there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I got that new one on there, I'm not sure. Thankfully we got that, I'm not sure why there's, there were two of them. That, or that could have been the old one and then the one that was on there that just broke was like the replacement one. I don't know, but sounds like this thing Really le wants to run, but there's some kind of like electrical problem or something. I'm really not sure though. Like I'm thinking maybe like there's like some kind of loose connection or something, so it'll work sometimes and sometimes it won't. This new one is really difficult to use. It just wiggles. There's this wire that was hanging there, and the kill switch um, was just sitting there without a wire. This is like an aftermarket one, I think, and uh, hooked that up and it will start working better. This thing sucks. I think that has something to do with it. 